Hey there, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to Sailor Moon Another Story. So, we're gonna walk and talk here because we got a lot to cover. Last time we left off, Luna just left us to do her own thing. She's got her own investigation going on. We met Sin, who appeared in the fire and just kind of exploded. No explanation, no reason. That was her hello. Um, and we got a phone call from Haruka stating that Hotaru, something's going on with Hotaru. And of course, construction is going on outside. So if you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. Uh, so we're going to check on Hotaru now. So if you go all the way left across town, you'll come across the Juban Hospital. Miss Hotaru Tomoe, her room is on the third floor. It's the one on the far left. If you didn't already know that, she'll tell you exactly where to go. And there's really nothing else to check um, to check on in the hospital. There's a Luna P in here if you wanted it. Um, but again, far left, third floor, that's where Hotaru is. And you can pick either Hotaru or, Mi uh, not Hotaru, uh, Michiru or Haruka to talk to, but I don't think you can talk to both. We've been waiting for you, Bunhead. Are you awake, Hotaru? Bunhead's come to see you. Huh? Why isn't she a baby anymore? Hotaru, are you okay? Now, remember, this takes place between Season S and Supers. So, the last we saw Hotaru, she had reverted into pretty much an infant. So, this is a little strange. <laughs> it was hurting a lot until just now. I've been fine since you got here. What could have happened? Out of nowhere, her body started wavering. And before we knew it, she was her old self again. Yeah, and it was so painful. And I've heard Mugen Academy is back too. Something evil's lurking in the shadows. That's right. Hotaru, have you ever felt this kind of pain before? It felt like when I was under the influence of the Taioran Crystal. Usagi's Silver Crystal seemed to relieve the pain. The Taioran Crystal? Th then Hotaru, does that mean Mistress Nine's gonna come back? Did I call it? Oh, I hope not. I think it's okay now. Yeah, Hutaru has awoken as a sailor soldier. There's no way she'd transform into an enemy. When I collapsed, I felt it. My very destiny had changed. That evil power, so strong and malicious. How frightening. Excuse me, it's time for the patient's checkup. Wait a minute. This room should be marked, do not disturb. Who or what are you? Dun dun dun. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you troublesome brats. Die! All right. I see that they changed the name in this version to the, to the actual uh, name, Pharmacon. I think in the, in the original she was called Pal Palmason or some Palmacon or something like that. Um, but this is Esmeralda's droid from Season R, uh, who posed as a human nurse, so very appropriate. Um, everybody was sick with the flu and Venus had to take care of everybody, and this was the droid from that episode. So we didn't we, we do have some of the outer senshi now. We haven't had a chance to do their link text yet, so let's just use their normal text. Let's see, Moon Spiral Heart Attack. Space Sword Blaster! Now there's nothing... There's nothing specific to note about this boss. Just wail on her and she'll die. Again, typical early game fights. And poor, poor Uranus and Neptune don't have a lot of CP. <laughs> to start with. I think they start at something like level one. I think they start from level one or three, something like that. Another puzzle piece. They didn't level up, that's not fair. I know we've defeated that enemy before. This is the second time today that an enemy from our past has attacked. Why are enemies that we beat coming back to life? This is really scary. Its destiny must have been changed the same way mine was. The power to change destiny? That's impossible. Just what is this foe? Is 
Lady Apsu. We have completed the first stage of the plan. In a few places, formerly dead creatures were revived and wreaked havoc. The destiny of the 20th century Juban district has been changed. Then your endeavors shall see reward. This power will be- I'm not gonna do an accent. <laughs> this power will be conferred unto you. With this, your strength should exceed that of the sailor soldiers. You may step down. Thank you very much, Lady Apsu. At last, we can put an end to the sailor soldiers. Yeah, and our destinies will change. Like, totally! <laughs> oh, she's gonna be fun later. You're already satisfied? The job isn't even done yet. Marduk is right. Anshar. It's too early to celebrate. We still need to defeat the sailor soldiers. To achieve the destiny we want, we need to retrieve the silver crystal. It's only with the crystal that we'll have a chance. Exactly. Its power can't be ignored. Why else would we separate ourselves from this era it protects? This is our chance! With these awesome powers, we can win! At the moment, the sailor soldiers are two in two different groups. Okay, we should use this opportunity. Get those girls. Whoosh! Anshar, if you do indeed want to change destiny, do not go easy on the princess. We should investigate the town. Agreed. Perhaps we can find a clue left behind by the enemy. Yeah, okay. I almost feel like we're at the edge of a giant change. Um, is it okay if we go back to my house first? I want to check on my family. Sure, let's go. Wait, I'm coming too! You have to rest. I'm also a sailor soldier. I can't stay here while everyone else is fighting. I don't want destiny to be changed any more than it already has. Haruka, please, can't we take Hotaru along? All right. You can come with us. Just remember to be careful, okay? Thanks, everyone. All right, so now we have the Outer Senshi. So first I'm going to change my formation. I tend to... this is, this is kind of where I start to favor cluster. So I usually keep Moon in the middle, and then for to start I'm going to put Hotaru in the back. But she is going to very quickly become a powerhouse. So she won't stay in the back for very long. Um, so we also have new, new Senshi, so we're going to do Link Tex. Uh, so Moon... let's see. I'll go through this really quick. I might even fast forward through this. Alright, so if you didn't get any of those, you can pause and and look at what pairings I made. I think I went slow enough, but um, that's what video is for. It's great, you can pause. So we've done our formation, we have done our link text, so we can leave the hospital. Uh, please note, this is where random battles begin. Oh, speak of the devil. This is where random battles start, so you will start to run into a fight. So here we have our very first random battle, Garoben. From first season, it was Jedi Tsioma. Um, it was the Ami intro episode, actually. She posed it as a teacher at the cram school and basically fought with razor sharp paper and quiz <laughs> and quiz questions that Usagi pretty much failed at. But as you can see in, in the in her in her uh, sprite here, she does have kind of a an arm that morphs into an axe. All right. So as Usagi said, she wants to go check on her family. So we're going to make our way back to the Tsukino residence, which is going to be in the bottom left corner of the map.
and we'll fight things along the way. Jumo. This was another first season. I think all of the ones you encounter here are from the first season. Um, but this was uh, one of Nephrite's Yoma, or uh, yes, Yoma, that uh, possessed a doll that Shingo's friend Mika was making. And the name is actually a reference to a famous doll maker, Pierre Jumeau, um, which I thought was a nice, a nice kind of reference. Oops, wrong way. And we've seen Garuben, but Tesni um, was another first season. Nephrites uh, sent it to possess a tennis racket. A friend of Naru's was a tennis player. Uh, I think his name was Rui, I think. Um, which is interesting, too, because Tesni uh, is actually an anagram of the katakana for tennis. I think they did that a lot with a lot of enemy names. They kind of just moved around the, the kana. Um, in the in a word, and then just made it, made a new name out of it. Um, I probably could have changed some of these to hit multiple targets. Some some of these, I don't think Moon has any multi hit. No, she doesn't have any multi hit. Level up, finally. I don't know why they didn't level up from that one boss fight. Must not give much XP. Alright. So Saturn was pretty low health, so I'm just going to heal here very quick. I don't think this area has any random encounters. What a relief. It looks like nothing's changed here. Hi, Shingo. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Shingo? W wait a sec, what's going on? Wait! Oh, well, that's... What are you doing in my house? A monster? Wah! Oh no! Everyone, transform! Alright. Is anybody else home? Our mother was in the kitchen- She's here! Why is she just not- panicking that there's a monster chasing her son around the house. A monster appeared in my house and started chasing my son. Please help. Why aren't you helping him? Oh, Ikuko. All right. Well, let's go save our brother because that's the that's the right thing to do. We are soldiers of justice, right? Don't 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 interfere. All right, so green, they call it Cyrene here. The original, the actual name was something like Kyurene or something like that. But it was it was a Yoma that Jedi sent to steal energy by inserting um, high frequency waves into music. Um, and so as you can see, she kind of looks like a bat. So it kind of goes with that whole sonic, sonic idea, um, sonic waves. And she actually has an ability called sonic wave that can put you to sleep if she uses it. Um, but in the anime, she kind of attacks with long fingernails and also some sound waves. Uh, most likely... What am I doing here? Let's actually talk while we fight. Um, most likely, she's named after a siren from Greek mythology. And this is actually uh, the first appearance of uh, Emiko Shinohara, who is Jupiter's Seiyu. Um, so this is the, her first appearance in the anime because Jupiter hadn't been introduced at this point. I've got to get better at, at talking and acting at the same time. <laughs> taking action, not acting, but like taking action in the game. <laughs> also, I really wish they would get their EP up faster. Uh, she has two. No, she can't do- or no, Neptune has two. But yeah, it's- it's really easy. I mean, if you do fall asleep, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, it, I, it, I find that her sonic wave doesn't tend to work very very often oh she's out um so it really shouldn't be oh oh yep see miss yeah see moon's starting to get beefed up so oh there's saturn's level up thanks sailor moon it's all right shina 
Sheena? Anyway, Sailor Moon. That monster said it wanted to know where the silver crystal was. The silver crystal? But why? I don't even like gems. Why would it ask me about a crystal? <laughs> this is very different from the original. I think originally, I think he, he says something different. Yep. Cool, it's Sailor Moon. Whenever I see you, you're always so awesome. You're so different from my dumb sister Usagi. And <laughs> dot dot dot. Yeah. Alright, so things are going after our family. Old enemies are definitely appearing. We're not the only ones who've experienced it, because Haruka and Michiru even made a comment. So I was gonna say we're gonna head to Hikawa Shrine now, but apparently we're getting some instructions. It's my communicator, come in Luna. Sailor Moon, I found some info about the enemy. Come to the Hikawa Shrine immediately. Okay. All right. You're still gonna run into enemies here. Um, you could heal since we did just fight something before we head back out into the big wide world. So back to the shrine. This is pretty straightforward. We don't need to make any pit stops. And those, those three, these, the three enemies that we uh, have seen are the only ones that will appear in this area. So we don't need to stop and talk about them anymore. We can just go ahead and play and kick their butts. Moon spiral heart attack. I really think they did such a great job on the sprites. They're, they're so detailed. And we're slowly racking up those levels. Whoop. <laughs> Two out of the three missed. That's good for me. shaking I believe that the voice acting in this game was all done by the original cast as well I'll have to double check that if anybody if anybody knows differently let me know but I think most of the voice acting was done uh, by the original cast that did the anime either that or they took snippets of the of the like shouting the powers. Um, they, I think they might have taken like audio snippets from it at the very least. Yeah, Sailor Moon's just one shotting everything. The you'll, you'll come to find that sometimes when you're in a new area, you f it feels like you're extremely under leveled because everything else is so much more powerful than you. But you gain a few levels and you get so OP. <laughs> you start kicking things asses pretty quickly. Yep, one shot. I almost wish that they were putting up a little more of a fight because then I feel like it'd be more interesting to watch. And I'm basically, I'm changing all of the... So Neptune and Saturn only have multi-hit attacks. Moon only has single hit. Uh, Uranus is the only one that has both. And so that's why I keep changing which ability I'm using with her. Because if I only have one enemy, I'll use Space Sword Blaster. World Shaking hits multiple, though. Um, oh, I should probably... You know what? I should show off some link text. Let me do that before I go into Hikawa Shrine. I should have been doing that all along, and I wasn't even thinking about it. Well, we'll have... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, if it takes me too long to get a random battle, we'll do it next time. Uh, this... We'll probably only get, like, one or two turns in, but... Um, Spiral Reflection. Let's try that one. And then... A spiral... Well, it just... Yeah. Oh, that one is actually a revive, so we don't need to... We won't use that one. We'll just use Death Reborn Revolution. If she goes first, she's probably gonna kill everything. Oh, here we go. Spiral Shaking. We just used that one. 
Hopefully. There we go. Spiral shaking. We get to see that one. This might one shot kill everything. Yeah, they did. <laughs> see, those link texts can be so nice. And I know that I said the EP is pretty much the same as um, like normal text. I do think it takes the EP from both or both or however many characters um, are part of the attack. I think that's the case. I didn't, I wasn't paying close enough attention to notice in that battle, but I think that's the case. So you're kind of expending more EP because it's across multiple characters. Um, so take that as you will. You know, Yuichiro works well around here, but I think we could use more ladies. Of course you do, Grandpa, because you're a little perv. Kirby old man. The weather's really nice today, isn't it? You make the most forced small talk, you each know. And for those of you who might not know, his name was, I think, Chad in the original Deke dub. Um, which I don't know why I find that so funny. He kind of is a Chad. We've been waiting, Sailor Moon. So what did you find out? Well, I did some digging with the Crystal Palace's computer. It seems that the enemy has arrived from the future. Huh? But the Black Moons... No, these enemies are from beyond the time of the Black Moon. It seems they have the power to It seems they have the power to manipulate time. In other words, they didn't need the door of space and time to get here. Our first thought was to contact Neo Queen Serenity, but the door seems to be under the enemy's control. I bet they've got something in store for the future, too. This is one of the enemies blocking the door. Next is, huh? The computer's acting strange. This always confuses me because you don't see any computer on the screen, so... Like, what computer? Like, is it- I, I- I never- like, the whole half of the room is the computer, I guess. What? Um, I guess it's on the fritz. Ugh, let me try. I am. Oh, it's talking! You're a genius, Luna! Huh? But I didn't do anything yet. I am Oppositio Sin. Wait, something's not right. I am Oppositio Sin. One of the soldiers who changed destiny. You sailor soldiers will soon meet your end. Everything will soon be in the grasp of hell destiny. Take a look at this. Sailor Mercury. Sailor Mars. Sailor Jupiter. Sailor Venus. Chibiusa. If you want Lady Serenity and the Four Soldiers back, come to Juban Middle School. <laughs> the perfect site to have a showdown. Some Japanese middle school. <laughs> we'll be waiting, Sailor Moon. Wait. Girls. Chibiusa. Sailor Moon, it's a trap. But they've got our friends. Are we just going to abandon them? I didn't say that. We just need to get more intel first. I agree with Luna. We don't understand our enemy's strength nor their true form. It's too dangerous to accept their invitation. I don't think so. So it's a trap. We can just bust it up and save the day, right? I am totally with the artist. Just go in there, kick some ass, take, take back your teammates. Like, that's how you do things. But Uranus... I want to help Chibiusa. Sailor Saturn. I know there's a lot at stake here, but I have to go help them. A world without the other soldiers. I just can't accept it. Sailor Moon. Well, Neptune, what do you say? All right, I give up. <laughs> okay. I don't know why she finds that so amusing. We're decided. Let's go to Juban Middle. Ju do people just call... I've heard people call high schools like just like like something high, but I've never heard that with a middle school before. Be cautious. Great, great advice. Thank you, Artemis. He's just gonna sit here and chill and not go risk his life. So, that is I think where I'm gonna leave it for today. We have quite a few fights coming up. We gotta go save our friends. We gotta go save the world. We have to save destiny. And we're going to have our first showdown with some of the main antagonists of the game. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a good day!